with December 2023 updates on Power BI Desktop. We got new features for our favorite column charts and bar charts. We now have extra details for data labels and borders for the columns or bars. In this video, I am going to use these features with some tricks to create such visuals. Let's do that. All right, I am inside this new PBX file where I have loaded a very small data set. This is just showing the allocation percentages by region. I have created this measure as well. Before I start showing you the new features, I need to create few supportive measures. The visual I am going to use is this 100% stack column chart. First of all, I will select region and allocation percentage. For the analysis perspective, this will do the job. But creating beautiful insights is the integral part of reports or dashboards. I have removed the X and Y axis. Now I will create three basic measures, each for the top, bottom, and the empty space. Then I will show you how to use new features so that your column chart will look like this. My first measure is for empty space, which is nothing but one minus the allocation percentage. Here we will know how much is still to go out of 100%. Data type will be dynamic. And for the format string, I will validate. If allocation percentage is greater or equal to 50%, then I will use this emoji, else another emoji. Here, just I wanted to differentiate the allocations which are above or below 50%. Let me copy this measure, which I can use it in text color formatting as well. Here I can just paste this expression, and for the same validation, I will just change the true and false results to color green and color red. All right. My another two measures are not for any calculations, but it is just to have the top and bottom bases. For the top, let's say we'll use 7% of the area. And this also, I will make as dynamic data type. Because I want to use this goal or target emoji as custom format string. For the bottom, I will again use 7%. But this one I will leave as percentage itself. We are now ready with our tools. Let's start formatting the visual. First of all, I will place all these measures in the proper order from bottom to top. Placing these measures into the proper order is important for this designing. Now, select the visual and go to the formatting section. Here we will adjust the column colors for all these measure. As that you can see, we have a new option for column border, which we can customize for each of the series used in our column chart. Without wasting much time on it. Let me do this formatting a little faster. You can select the colors of your choice. All right. Earlier with data labels, we got few updates to use custom data labels. But now with December 2023, we have title and details. Using these features, you can format your data labels even more attractive ways. For the bottom base, I will use the region name as its custom data label. For the allocation percentage measure, disable the data label. Don't worry we will show the value in a different way. For the empty space measure, we will use these new features. I don't need details, so I will disable it. For the title, I will use the allocation percentage measure. I have noticed that it doesn't show the labels until we change its color. Anyway, I will use conditional formatting for this text color where I can use our newly created format measure, which will format these values with green and red colors which will be validated whether it is above or below 50%. If I will enable the values, it will automatically show these emojis because I am using a dynamic data type for this measure where I have already defined these formats. Similarly for top measure, I am again using another emoji as its format string, so it will show for its values. Finally, we are ready with our new column chart. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for many such interesting videos on Power BI. Post your feedbacks and suggestions in comment box.